One UI 8.5 is a pretty substantial update. And to go along with the software update, there's also some apps that have been updated too. Let's go through the list and show you some of the new features and new designs of these apps in particular. Welcome back to Sam Mobile TV. You're here with Daniel. In front of me, I just have a small list of apps that Samsung have updated and some we've got through APKs and some we have organically through the beta update that came through. So I just want to go through the visual change and the update to how they look and some of the functions that have been added. So I want to start with Samsung Internet because it's at the top of this list here. And I want to show you how Samsung Internet looks now with One UI 8.5. There's a small design change up here with the address bar at the top and also the tabs that you've got at the top here as well. They have all kind of changed a little bit in terms of their appearance and functionality. If we bring up Samsung Internet previously, you will see that the tabs are actually underneath the address bar, whereas here they're above it. So Samsung have updated that to be a bit of a different look. You also have a difference here with the menu. It's not a hamburger menu anymore. It's a three dot menu and it goes straight up as opposed to a big tab that takes over the bottom. And then you have other functions like the new tab organization view, which you can actually change it to be grid, stack or list. I think that was there or has been there. This is just, I guess, an extension of that. And then you've got down the bottom secret mode and your syncing mode to sync with other devices as well. And then just the overall sort of pill shaped overlay over the top of menus and, and the app is also on show too. So it's definitely more of a visual one, not so much a function one. But as you can see, visually, it does look a little bit different to what it did before. Next in my list is Samsung Notes. And this has gone a bit of an update in terms of its look and some function differences too. So immediately, if I'm in my folder here, what you can see is it actually now breaks it down by when the note was created. So rather than just a cluster of notes sort of sitting there in this folder here, which is my script folder, you can see it's got today, it's got this week, this month, and it sort of goes back in time as when they were created. Again, if we were to compare that to what it looks like now, one moment, you will see it's literally just a cluster of notes in no detail as to when they were created. So again, I much prefer what Samsung have done here with this new look and feel. It's way easier, it doesn't feel as cluttered. You also have for the folders sort of a a better view over what the folder looks like versus what it is there. It's more colorful, more bright, pops out more. Also, I noticed too, you have Math Solver on the phones now with Samsung Notes. Again, not something that existed in this version of Samsung Notes, but it did exist on the foldables, the Fold 7 in particular that I have. Now he's here though, on one year 8.5's version of Samsung Notes on the phone, S25 Ultra. Functionality wise, there's nothing really that different. It just has those overlays of like the pill shape stuff that we've been seeing pretty much littered throughout everything else. Next in my list is calendar. And really the only thing that's different with the calendar is the pill shaped sort of look. Samsung haven't really done too much else with it. And uh, I just want to hide my calendars there. Everything else looks pretty much as is as what I did before. It's just that pill shaped adoption is now there. There's some slight differences with the grid of the calendar too. They're a bit more defined. But really the main one is that pill shape stuff. Next, I have voice recorder. And this definitely has gotten a visual update. So again, I will bring in my trusty S25 Edge for comparison and bring up the voice recorder over here. And you can see that the voice recording memos that have been created kind of have more information that you can see. They've got like a tag, which is there too but it also is a bit more defined in blocks as opposed to just a line that's underneath each one. They're now kind of sectioned off with a block and a little bit of a shadow behind it to sort of really create its own identity. And similar to Samsung Notes, it's broken down in a timeline as well. And that pill-shaped stuff is there again. Hit record and the interface of recording, roughly the same. Like you don't have this block here. It looks more sort of natural with the flow of the recording and the audio wave. And again, you've kind of got a little animation running in behind here. It's definitely more of a visual update. Next up, I got the reminder app. And this hasn't really changed much from a function standpoint. The One UI 8 version of reminder kind of already got that. Uh, and let's just, again, why not show you the difference? 
So you can see really what they've done is just bring in a bit more visuals with the purple sort of animation gradiently in the background and then shrunk the ad reminder to be, again, that sort of central pill shape as opposed to the elongated one. Still hasn't got back the one UI, one-handed feel where it brings two thirds and one third. That's still not there. But other than that, it's very, very familiar to what it was before. And then there's three apps that have kind of already been showcased, but Whilst we're here, we're going to do them again because, well, why not? Next one's gallery. The gallery for me is kind of the one that's probably the showcase of what this is about the most because you've got that menu in a pill shape down there and you can switch between everything. And you've got the pill shaped overlays that's sort of kind of blurred gradiently so you can see through them. And that's right throughout. So even if I were to bring something up here, you can see those overlays exist in all of that sort of stuff. There is some new features though within the gallery too. You've got collections, which replaces stories. So before the stories used to be this tab here. Now collections are a little bit different in how it works. So you still can describe your story, but it's just not as uh, put in your face with auto created stories. It's kind of just a little bit more subtle and you have a bit more control over that whole thing. It's kind of also merged search a little bit in a way because it's got shot types that you can sort of search for and click on in the same way that you can, or you can't do that here, you've got to go to search. So it's kind of brought some stuff in from search into there, and then you've got search up there as well. And then you've got private album, which was just a gallery labs feature before. Now it's become fully part of one UI 8.5 and the gallery, which means you can actually lock an album behind like a fingerprint or a password in the gallery. Then we have my files. And again, this is another showcase of what Samsung are trying to do here with this minimalized sort of visual, but sort of make it cleaner. So you've got the cleaner look up here. Again, I will just, I should just leave it here. Bring in the S25 edge. You will see that everything doesn't take up as much space. It's all kind of been shrunk into a bit tighter of an area to make it easier to view. And it is, it's much, much easier to view this than what it is this one over here. Like you still have all the same information. It's just now shown in a much better way. And even things like downloads have got some categories attached to it. And you've got a much better visual for internal storage. And then you've got your utilities and external storage underneath, including storage share, which we kind of are going to show off in a full video. So make sure you hit subscribe. And then the last one is the phone dialer. And from a visual standpoint, the phone dialer looks as you would expect, especially when you consider the gallery and all that sort of stuff. Something someone did ask in the comments was about the direct voicemail. And it doesn't seem to have made it across. If I go through here and into voicemail, the direct voicemail feature that we were seeing in the earlier build doesn't seem to be here anymore. So I'm not sure what the deal was there, but it's not there anymore. So we'll keep looking out for it in future beta updates, but as of now, it's not there. Everything else from one UI 8.5 is, can be found though. You've got the, the, the pill shaped, you've got the contact cards, you've got the overlays, everything is there as you would expect. So they are apps from One UI 8.5. It's probably not all of them. There's probably more. These are some of the most prominent ones that I found. And the biggest thing you can take away is the visuals. Samsung are emphasizing visuals with One UI 8.5. As you can see, notes, internet, voice recorder for me were the big three. And then gallery is kind of like the one that you would show everyone. This is what Samsung are trying to do. We're going to have plenty of One UI 8.5 coverage leading into the Galaxy S26 launch. So make sure you hit subscribe to us to make sure you don't miss any of that. You can go check out our website and our socials as well. We'll be we cover all things Samsung and we'll see you guys next time. Thanks. Thanks.